just love the look of this map i think it looks fantastic i think it's really really awesome this is another map by zwex so we just saw his lost and found map which actually had a pretty quick game um now we're going to be having uh parasite which is going to be a pretty uh a macro map so kind of going from a standard map to a macro map this definitely does have the potential to be a bit longer but maybe not if special is going to open up like this an scv already coming to the top side of the map and that is not just for some sort of friendly early game scout that's almost definitely for some sort of proxy play to get this going so this scv going to throw down a barracks to the top side in the next few moments Actually, no, he is going to throw the barracks back at home. So maybe he just wants the SCV on the map so it doesn't get scouted later. Or maybe he throws down a second racks over here. Interesting opening from Special here now in game number one. Probe continue to come across and just looking to see what will happen as he comes towards that main base. And parting, just looking to see what's going to be coming up here in these early stages. So part in top left, Special bottom right. And already going to be seen partner with the Expand. And obviously initially this looks like an expansion from Special as well. It doesn't look too weird. It doesn't look too crazy. It looks like a one Rax base expansion and probably just a Reaper Expand. But it's going to be a Marine right away. And what do we see out of this uh, barracks up here? Maybe a Tech Lab and Marauders and Concussive Shells? Could actually happen. It'll be interesting to see what does uh, go down here. As you see this probe moving up. Ah, I love the cleaning bot. It's one of my favorite little bots or critters in the game. I actually love the clean bot. I was on that uh, Defender's Landing map. I love it. I think it's a great little critter. Alright, well, just as the tech lab comes up, thank you very much to the, the Zoni, who has joined us as a subscriber on the channel. Thank you to the Dark Ones for the gift. For a sub gift in a little while. Thank you very much for gifting a sub and being so kind. Get some love in the chat, please, to the Dark Ones and the Zoni. Welcome to the channel. As we do see, Conquest of Shards and the Marauder on the way out then, so... Gonna be double Marauder actually on the way, so Special really gonna ramp up the pressure here early on. Is he gonna proxy something else? His SCV is sticking around as though he may want to, but only one gas so that does much more kind of head towards something like an expansion in the end, as he will just be starting to set up in towards that in the near future. So just gonna see that uh, Marauder gonna be joined by another Marauder very soon. Twilight Council going to be popping up in the main base as well in just a couple of moments and. Well, another Stalker on the way out as there's a depth begins to shade down through the center. SCV coming across here, and we are going to see as their depth finishes. We'll actually see this SCV. Marina and Marauder moving up the left-hand side, and again right now, Parting just has no idea that there's no natural expansion. And as two Marauders are about to arrive, Parting has a Stalker. He doesn't have a shield battery. He's in quite a lot of trouble. These probes don't even know where to go to initially. As, uh... Wow, Parting is in a lot of trouble, actually. Like, not even, like, a Stargate to help him maybe get an Oracle out to slowly clean this up. So he's going to have to pull probes, and now the uh, Stalker are going to come into the fight as well. The extra Marine and Marauder coming in. I well, remember, there is no expansion here from Special, so Parting can afford to lose some workers. Obviously, he's losing a lot of mining time in this as well, as he will shut down this uh, SCV building, the bunker. His uh, probes still chasing. Now the Adept comes back as well. I think those probes could probably get back to mining now, as Special's just going to type out GG. Doesn't feel as though he's done enough damage here, so Parting takes game number one now. Sorry for that. Uh, didn't uh, look. It always happens because I don't look at that part of my X split, and we so rarely actually have to use that uh, feature, of course. All right, well, let's see what happens in game number two. As we do have to the top left hand side, the Blue Terran player. It is special. He is down a game right now after that fast cheese in game number one. We have to the bottom right hand side, the Red Protoss player. Parting. Okay, then game number two and looking to see how this will go. Is already a probe on the way out, and this time special not going to build a barracks across the map. What's up, one Connor class as well in the chat? How you doing? Welcome to the channel as well. Sparks coming up, gateway on the way, and already Parton just going to probe scout and just again make sure nothing crazy is happening. Again, welcome to the digital frontier. It's, it is cool, right? I, I like these lines around the edges. It reminds me a lot of black pink with that sort of uh, aesthetic. It actually changes color quite a bit as you move around. Got like a blue section, goes back to being orange. On the map preview, it's very orange because of these uh, line of sight blockers, which are orange. So on the map preview, when you load in, etc., it looks like really kind of blue and orange. That's cool. It's again. Uh, very kind of neat and tidy map, I think, as we uh, set up and uh, 
Well, we do see this uh, Nexus on the way. It's an expansion on the way, probably from both players here this time. As we're going to see Special going to get ready to pull this SCV down towards the low ground, I imagine. Already that SCV nibbling away at that probe. And CC going to be dropping down onto the natural right away here. It's been a pretty fast day so far, by the way. It's our fourth series and already one map in. Hopefully we get another couple of longer games. Otherwise, we're going to be in for just overall a very quick day of StarCraft 2. As you can see, this probe is on its way back down towards this bottom right-hand side. I'm just going to be seeing it continue to move on through. Through these line of sight blockers, getting back home. As the Reaper comes out, we'll start ahead towards the bottom right-hand side. Welcome back, guys. Not having a very good day with XSplit right now. It's uh, causing us a lot of issues. So apologies for that. We are back, though. He didn't miss too much. We're only gone for 20, 30 seconds or so. And as you see, this attempt just shading forwards. We're not really going to see all too much. As uh, just before we went down, I think this river was just coming down, but didn't really see too much either. And it's been fairly stunned so far with it. Cyclone and starboard now on the way up. Looking to see uh, what happens next. What's up, Modicus SC2 coming in with the fresh new sub on the two months. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the resub. And uh, welcome back to the channel for your second month here. Do you appreciate it, mate, as we see that Stalker is going to be able to pick off the Reaper. As, uh... You see the uh, Twilight Council is on the way up as well. So Twilight Council coming through. And as we continue to set up in towards this, and... Again, just looking to see what else is happening. Yeah, I really like the orange part of this map. Someone else just said it in the chat, but... I think it's, uh... It's really quite neat. Anyways, Blink is on the way up about halfway done. The Robo Facility coming down as well right now, so... Set up in towards that. In the main base, we do see two of these stalkers just sat in these, again, little bits of fog of war. Those locations that Special wouldn't be able to see right away as he moves forwards. He's going to see eight Marines going to load up. He's going to bring the Cyclones across as well. A fairly aggressive attack getting set up here by our Terran player as he heads down towards the bottom right to see what else he can do. So let's... Uh so the unit's going to be coming down towards the bottom right and a couple of Cyclones are going to get ready to jump on top of this uh, stalker right away. I was going to see some Marines starting to uh, drop on down and start to deal some damage. Cyclone's obviously going to get going as well here and uh, really start to dish, dish out some damage in the next few moments. Cyclones and Marines going to continue to fight as we see the Stalkers going uh, getting rid of the Medivac though. Now the Shield Battery's out of energy and there's still two Cyclones here as these Marines are getting quite a lot done. The Pros will start to pull in but he loses another Cyclone. Can he turn and fight some more of these Pros? He's actually going to try and target the Stalker but now Blink is done but he did just already Blink back. Gonna get another Stalker here, and Special, I think, has done enough to stay in this. A uh, nice blink there on that last Stalker, as the other Stalker's blinking forwards to catch the Cyclone. Part in defense, I think Special definitely did enough to be in an alright sort of position here to continue on. Alright, so just gonna be seeing these few Marines just setting up on the natural, getting a bunker up as well. I'm just going to be seeing those Marines again. Get ready to jump into that in the next moment or so. Robo Bay and the Forge coming up as well in the main base. Siege Tank is also coming up too. I'm just going to be seeing that Liberator about to pop. So continued pressure here, but this bunker is pretty much all that's here. This SCV line is going to have to be pulled to actually save the Siege Tank, but it still goes down. The one unit in the bunker, the couple of Marines in the bunker, are not really going to be enough here. Some more Marines coming out. I mean, some of these Stalkers are just so low, and he will start targeting them with the tank, but it's not enough and special. And it's taking some real damage right now against Parting. He is taking quite a lot of hits here. As you can see, SEVs and Marines still pulling in. Stalkers blinking away. 11 workers lost to this counterattack, and this Liberator intercepted already. Special. Siege is up, and he's just going to tap out. Wow, absolutely disastrous games at the moment for Special. Nothing is really going right for him at all. And happen in this game number three. To the top left hand side, our Blue Protoss player is going to be uh, parting. He is up 2-0 right now, and he himself is going to get a bit aggressive here on Treachery. Another one of the larger macro maps here today. That's what you have to the bottom right-hand side, our red Terran player. It is special. Send up into this, this TVP game number three. Again, it's best of three series, but even though it's best of threes, we do go in towards the third map no matter what, because every map gets played because it's a map contest tournament we try and promote seeing as many maps as possible. What's up, Christian X? Coming in with the Twitch Prime sub. How you doing? Thank you very much for that Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. And some love in the chat, please, for fresh new sub. Welcome to the channel, as we do see Proxy Stargate coming up and a shield battery next to it as well. Oh my god. Well, Parton's going to be cheesing his way through this one as well. 
As we are going to be seeing the uh, Reaper coming in towards the top left in a special expanse. Well, Parton is the one who really is looking to put on the pressure. Now, Special is going to see no expansion, will immediately know something is up. Probably also helps that he sees the shield battery building, so he kind of knows what's going on to some extent already. This is probably going to be a very fast Void Ray, and could even be a Fleet Beacon and Tempest to follow up. Something that Haas was doing a lot of. The Void Ray works just as well as also as we continue to uh, set up into this. First Void Ray being Chrono Boosted, you can see the Cyclone is on its way out. Missile turrets might be very important in this as well. Will Special start a starport? We'll start up a bunker on the low ground, which is probably a necessity as well. As you can see, this pilot will try and come down. Two Marines, though, already just going to start working their way through that. And I guess the Void Ray coming in will obviously start to make a bit of a difference on it. That probe is still thinking about maybe moving further forwards, and is going to come on just a little bit in. And there is the uh, Void Ray, but the Cyclone pops, and we'll lock onto the Void. You're going to see the Shield Battery uh, second pilot actually coming in. Not a Shield Battery just yet. Maybe a shield battery soon as we see the Cyclone just continue to pick away through the void and continues to heal it up a little bit here as you can see those units backing away. Now SCVs going down on the low ground, we see the CC will have to lift up and a one base defense will come into play now from Special. Cyclone locks on again, SCVs will want to repair that Cyclone up but has to keep on kiting as well, has to be very careful. One of his main issues is that his production is so close to the front it's going to be under attack. So we're just going to be seeing the uh, Cyclones locking on again. And that Void Ray continue to take some more damage, and again, Void still working their way through this at the moment. You can see Cyclone's locking on once more, and again, pushing the Voids back a little bit further. The Shield Battery's doing a great job, and now a special Supply Blocked as well. A Viking on the way up will help, as he continues to fight against us here. The Cyclone's still locking on. His Barracks still in position too, which does also go a long way. There's just so many shield batteries which are just being built here. There's now going to be seen no matter what uh, special does. The shield batteries are just healing everything back up. Just almost immediately as you're going to see the Void Rays still moving forwards. The special will actually get one of the Void Rays now. But he loses absolutely everything else in the process. And it looks as though parting is going to be picking up a free zero. And again special. A little bit of a uh, shocker here. Because now special just has nothing left. GG. And uh, fastest series.